In this video, we're going to be glossing over how we applied the epoxy primer and UV protectant clear coat. If you're a do-it-yourselfer that's either working with or wanting to work with reclaimed wood, barn wood, then you're in the right place. My name is Troy and this channel is all about sourcing, salvaging, reclaiming, and repurposing wood into deadly features for your home or office. So if this sounds like something that's interesting to you and you'd like to follow along, then please subscribe. We'd be happy to have you. Basically what this stuff is, it's a primer. So it's a flexible, non-toxic, it's waterborne epoxy sealer. So this is gonna soak into the wood, strengthen the fibers in the wood, and it's gonna make this barn wood last. So the 38 drops of rain really didn't do a whole lot of damage. Can you, can you remember that? Yeah, 38. I didn't get an exact count, but there weren't many raindrops. So anyways, pretty, pretty good. We just hit it again with the roller quick with a little more product and it came out the same as everything else. It's been three hours since application. So far so good, we got a nice little breeze. The sun literally stayed off this all day. You could see earlier there was a strip down the railing, but I mean, that's the best I could do, trying to keep it in the shade. I did notice it did dry quicker for sure on that outside, but I don't think that's gonna make a, a huge difference. So like the main goal for me is to see if barnwood's gonna be working years down the road. This is an epoxy seal. So we have everything sealed in. Now it'll be the decorative layer of epoxy next. Side note, let's just take a little second here and talk about where this wood originated. So I'm out in an old building right now. This one happens to be a granary, uh, beautiful boards back behind us. And those are the exact boards that we used um, for this deck. 
Now, this deck, it came from two separate um, buildings, and they're two different species, which I did speak about a little bit earlier. This is reclaimed wood that we're using. It, it uh, is meant to be upright, and we have put it down on the floor outside. So we're attempting to save this barn wood, and we're hoping that we can create a nice waterproof barrier. We've allowed it to have sufficient time to dry, that's for sure. I mean, you can put this stuff on and then apply the next coat within hours. So we let it set there. It's had three days for curing. Uh, we had some big temperature swings. It went down to, what was it, four degrees so Celsius. So that's 30, 32 is freezing, so somewhere in that zone. And then she climbed back up today. It's going to be a nice uh, 23 and a little bit of wind. So we got good drying weather and we're going to scuff up the top with a hundred grit sandpaper. And apply the epoxy coat. It'd be nice to get this project out of the way. It's supposed to have a really nice day today, a little bit of cloud cover and up to 22, uh, 23 degrees Celsius. And in the evening at night, it drops down to about 10 degrees. So we're still in the operating range. Uh, this stuff will still cure apparently down to zero. So now we're onto the roller and Zara Bright final gloss coat. It's a two-part mixture, non-slip additive. This is gonna be a smooth surface, so we wanna try and put a little grit and so we don't fall right on our asshole. All right, that concludes the second part of our three-part video of how we applied our epoxy to our outdoor deck. In the next video, part three of our three-part series is what we would do differently. And in fact, we went one step further and we'll show you the results of what we did do differently. In fact, we have a 200 square foot uh, walkway. Uh, we call it a boardwalk, but really it's a, it's a walkway to our front entry. And we applied a little different technique um, from what we learned in the back. What a stunning result. There's no way, shape or form that we are supporting this company or pushing their name out. Um, rather, this is the best company that we found for our project and they have multiple um, uses for their product. So we found the best fit for us and the product was reasonably easy to work with. If you've watched this far, then you're gonna really enjoy the third part. I think that's where we're all gonna learn a few tips and tricks of what can be done differently to provide a much better result. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video.